what happens if a person develops tumor in the spine? Can it paralyze? Can it cause loss of control on bowel and bladder? Can the person walk again? Let's understand all of this with the help of an example. Welcome to my channel Zen Spine. My name is Dr. Rakesh Jaki. I'm a consultant spine surgeon working in Mumbai. Let's understand this with the help of an example. This can belongs to a lady who is 68 year old <clears throat> who presented to us with a complaint of back pain had weakness in both legs and was unable to stand since two weeks. She had reduced sensation below her waist and had lost control on bowel and bladder. This was the presentation for approximately about two weeks that she did not have control on her lower body. When she was investigated with an MRI scan, this is what we found. If you look at this picture on the screen, it shows that she has this globular mass at the level of D8. Now let me explain you what's happening here in this MRI scan. If you look at this portion of the spine, you can see that these are the bony blocks which are the vertebrae and behind that is this gray structure which is the spinal cord. This is the spinal cord. This spinal cord is enclosed in this white fluid which is the spinal fluid and this spinal fluid is enclosed in this black layer called dura now you can see that this globular swelling is inside the dura and is pressing on this black spinal cord now let's look at the axial sections when you take a cross section like this at this level let's see what it looks like now when you look at the axial sections you can see that this is the vertebral body in the front this is the white spinal fluid and the central gray structure is the spinal cord this is how it should look like this is a good picture now if you keep watching and keep moving across the levels down three four looks good this is 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 good now as you start going down at the level of d7 d8 you can see that there is this mass arising from the back inside the dura and it is completely pressing the spinal cord here. It is hardly visible here. Look at in this picture, it is hardly visible. All of this space in the dura is occupied with this mass. And then it again gets better as you start going down. So this is what the pathology was in the MRI scan. And the spinal cord was completely pressed. And this lady had weakness in both her legs. So she underwent an operation where we excised the dura and we removed the tumor from the spine and the dura was then closed. After removing this tumor, it was sent to the laboratory to examine and know what this growth was and it turned out to be meningioma on histopathology. This could also be made out on the preoperative scans where the tumor looked like rounded, well circumscribed, globular margins. Before the surgery, if you can see in this video, despite of asking her to move her legs, she was not able to move her legs. After the surgery, two weeks down the line, she was now able to sit on her own. Her sitting balance was good and she was able to move both her legs to some extent and she has recovered at least grade 3 power in her legs and is now able to stand with the help of walker and can take few steps. She is expected to continuously improve over the next 6 months to 1 year when we expect her to be able to stand and walk on her own independently. This is how a tumor in the spine can paralyze the patient if not treated in the right time. We had a little delay here as she presented two weeks after the onset of weakness. But if she had presented earlier, the recovery would have been much, much faster. So please do not neglect if there is weakness in the legs and the patient is not able to stand and walk. This could be a tumor pressing on the spinal cord. If you have any questions related to spinal tumor, please do not hesitate to mention in the comment section below and we will try our best to answer you those or you can also contact us on the number given below or you can whatsapp us or call us on the same number. Thank you so much for your attention. If you like this video, please do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you very much.